My name is Cynthia Campbell, and I'm the author of the foundational essay for the Christian practice, Comfort Those Who Mourn. I retired in 2020 as pastor of the Highland Presbyterian Church in Louisville, Kentucky. I've also served congregations in Salina, Kansas, and various places in Texas. I'm also the President Emerita of McCormick Theological Seminary in Chicago, where I also taught theology. It's been my privilege to walk with a number of people through various kinds of loss and transition in their lives. And I was especially pleased to be asked to write this particular practice. I hope that it proves a time of growth and deeper Christian practice for you and your group as well. The second part of this study is a section we call Naming Our Losses and Receiving God's Comfort. Loss comes in all different sorts and types and at all different stages of our lives, from early on until the last moment. Think about some of the losses that one experiences in addition to death. A pet dies. A best friend moves away. You move from one school to another or from one job to another. You get married and a relationship does not work the way you had hoped and prayed that it would. A health challenge completely upends your life or the life of one of your most beloved family members or friends. A future you had envisioned, perhaps together, is now taken apart. Losses come in all shapes and sizes, and involved in all of them is a need to grieve, to mourn, and hopefully to receive comfort from God and from others. Almost all of the scripture passages in each of the sections of this study are can also be found in the Book of Common Worship in the sections that deal with comforting those who mourn and services for funerals, witnesses to the resurrection. I've done this on purpose because I've found that these particular set of texts are especially important resources for us when we experience losses of our own they can become the frame or the lenses through which we understand our own experience. One of my favorites comes from Isaiah 43, verses 1 and 2. Here the prophet Isaiah is speaking words to people who have been forcibly deported from their home in Jerusalem and Judea. They are in captivity in Babylon, present-day Iran, Iraq. They've lost everything. Their homes are destroyed. They've lost family members, position in society. The temple in Jerusalem, the holiest place, is gone. In the face of that, God speaks a word through the prophet Isaiah directly to these people. And God says, do not be afraid. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you walk through the waters, the river will not overwhelm you. And when you walk through fire, you will not be burned. Now notice that The prophet speaking for God does not say if you walk through the waters or if you pass through fire, but when. 
It's not a question of if we will experience loss in life. It's only a matter of when. And what our faith does is provide us resources for when those things happen, how we can proceed forward, how we can be open to receiving the comfort that God offers. Being a Christian does not exempt us from suffering and loss. But trusting in the compassion of God revealed in the face of Jesus enables us to know that God is present with us precisely in our moments of loss. So we name the loss and we open ourselves to receive God's comfort.